25 years behind the microphone, well, one well-known Kentucky radio broadcaster is celebrating a quarter century of play-by-play. -play. WYMT's Tanner Hesterberg traveled to Moorhead State University to speak with the voice of the Eagles, Chuck Mraz, and joins us now with more. Tanner? Stephen Morgan, not many broadcasters with the talent and resume of Chuck Mraz stay at a mid-major school for as long as he has. And even though Moorhead State fans appreciate the 57-year-old Mraz for his accurate and, yes, sometimes brutally honest commentary, his legacy is more centered around his relationships with family, friends, and former employees. Posthumous rebound down the floor, wide open. Here comes Angelo Warner with the tomahawk by Slamma Jamma. If this is music to the ears of Moorhead State fans, Chuck Mraz is the composer. Inside the lane, Postumus kicked right corner, Kelly fakes a man in the air, he'll shoot the three, swift. Mraz has been the radio voice of the Eagles for 25 years, painting a picture for MSU basketball and football fans. I had really kind of thought I'd probably be here about four or five years and, and move on to something else, but I kind of liked it, so I stayed. I know that I probably could have made more money doing something else or working someplace bigger or whatever you want to say that, but it really was never about that to begin with. When I got into this, I wanted to do something I enjoyed, and I enjoy this. Mraz moved to Moorhead from Chicago in 1986 and since then has broadcast more than 900 athletic events. During that span, nobody has shared more airtime with Mraz than his longtime color analyst Jason Blanton, a Johnson County native. Once you do play-by-play -play for a school for so long, people expect to hear from you. When Kaywood was doing the games at the University of Kentucky, people turned it on. They heard Kaywood. They knew what he was going to say. He wasn't afraid to tell you if it was a bad call or not. You get used to that situation, and you get used to that voice. And I think people around here got used to Chuck. Piper coming forward, moves in top of the key. Six seconds to go to three. Braz was behind the microphone when MSU upset Louisville in the 2011 NCAA tournament, a moment he calls the highlight of his career. Short pass in, Siva, three seconds at midcourt, far side, Mira in the parade, blocked by Braz. And before I left to go to the bus, to go to the airport, to go to Denver, I told my wife, we're going to win that game. I said, I know we're going to win that game. And so, I mean, I was just, it was kind of like an electric feeling to be there that particular day. And it was just, I was literally shaking because I was so full of adrenaline. Moorhead State's coach at the time was Donnie Tyndall, who developed a friendship with Mraz during his playing and coaching days as an Eagle before leaving for Southern Mississippi in 2012. And he's a guy that's always with you through good times and bad, and uh, I think that's probably what separates him is the fact that he's so passionate about Moorhead State. He hurts after every loss, and he's exhilarated after every, every win. Even though Chuck Mraz spends a good portion of his time on the side Lines or in the press box, his full-time job is news director here at Moorhead State Public Radio. Mraz arrives to work at 4.30 every weekday morning, often putting in a full day's work before calling a game at night. He also grooms students to become better reporters and stays in touch with most of them after they graduate. My mom was a teacher for 30 years and I saw the impact that she made on young people and the young people that would come back and see her years after she had taught them in elementary school and appreciated what she had done for them. And so I learned a great deal from that. I learned the importance of what teaching is all about. Just ask Mackenzie Bates, who studied under Mraz in college before launching a career that has included broadcast and print journalism. I walked into the radio station for the first time, met this big, tall, lanky guy, and uh, the rest is history because he was such an instrumental part of, of my life and my professional career that I pretty much owe it all to him. MSU officials honored Mraz for his 25 years of service prior to Saturday's win over Jacksonville State. And the voice of the Eagles says another 25 years is not out of the question. I've never really put a deadline on how long I do anything in life. It's just one of those things that I'll know when it's time not to do it. And that's kind of the way things work for me. I'll just keep going until I don't want to do it anymore, and I'll know that day when it comes. A day MSU fans hope comes later. Far side, open Purcell, set shot three, yes! Rather than sooner. 
Now, full disclosure, I'm proud to say I'm one of the many people who work for Chuck Mraz. You may also recognize the names of others who have studied under Chuck, including WYMT's very own Brandon Robinson and Matthew Rand. Stephen Morgan. All right, Tanner, great story. Thank you very much.